I recently went through the process of renewing my driving license, which made me think of two important components of uh, our future infrastructure. One is the Oracle problem in blockchains, how to connect external data sources uh, to the consensus mechanisms that blockchains offer. Second, obviously, whether this would be the last time that I needed to renew my license because with the hopeful rapid deployment of self-driving cars, I wouldn't need to drive myself again. My name is David Orban and this is The Context. The driving license is uh, a good piece of evidence of a skill that you uh, must exhibit in order to get access to a certain set of benefits. In this case, the ability to sit in the driver's seat of a car and go wherever you want. It has been developed in order to regulate a very dangerous activity. More than a million people die in car accidents all over the world uh, every year. And this is already under the regulated environment where the possession of a driver's license should be an indicator of the ability to perform the task to an expected level, a, which evidently doesn't happen. Now, the performance issue aside, the process of achieving, managing, renewing, as in my case, the certificate itself, the driving license, varies across uh, the world from country to country, but uh, everywhere, as of today, it is a centralized mechanism where uh, you uh, obtain a, a piece of paper or plastic more uh, frequently today, hopefully, uh, which um, shouldn't be forgeable, uh, should give uh, the bearer and anyone wanting to check it sufficient uh, confidence in its authenticity and information um, of, for example, not only the ability, but the degree. Um, I, for example, um, am not licensed to uh, drive a large truck. Now, as in every other certificate, there are a lot of advantages in reforming the system that is now in place and uh, bringing it into a more modern architecture where um, the certificate itself would be harder to forge, uh, verifying it uh, would be more secure and definitive, updating it with additional skills would be fast and reliable, and many, many other uh, points uh, that uh, actually are satisfied by a blockchain implementation of this particular certificate, the driving license, and many others as well. An important, only partially solved problem uh, is what in the blockchain world is called the Oracle problem. How do you bring into the self-contained world of uh, provable truths that is blockchain with its consensus mechanism uh, being able to prove a computable statement and say that uh, it is um, for every possible effect true, a piece of data uh, from the outside world, from the world uh, of messy information, of uncertain uh, reliability, or 
even where people actively uh, try to uh, inject false information into systems uh, in order uh, to gain uh, an unfair advantage. More classically, this is termed as garbage in, garbage out. If you cannot trust the source data, you uh, cannot trust uh, the computing performed upon the data and the results of uh, that computation. So the blockchain oracle problem is not new uh, or completely new, but it is especially acute in this pristine isolated system that aims to be on a pedestal of uh, trustworthiness to a much higher degree than not uh, any other uh, previous solution. In uh, my case, I went uh, to uh, do a relatively superficial uh, medical exam uh, concentrated mostly on my eyesight. And, and yes, I have been already uh, under the obligation of wearing uh, glasses while driving and uh, of course that uh, has been kept. Um, uh, my eyesight did not deteriorate further so uh, uh, my gradation is fine and yes I uh, was confirmed that I'm able to drive. There can be many other uh, ways and many other reasons to either confirm or deny uh, a certification and an ability. But then after the person-to-person uh, -person interaction of uh, this particular uh, exam, the data that uh, is being processed is um, you know, ambiguous. It uh, travels on all kinds of analog uh, and uh, not especially trustworthy digital networks until, well, it enters the current system and uh, I don't know how many uh, false driver's licenses are circulating uh, uh, today, uh, what is the percentage whether it is a single digit percentage or double digit percentage. Uh, but yes, once uh, the data is in the system, today it is assumed to be trustworthy or easily verifiable. So the objective of extending uh, the trustworthiness of the data brought onto blockchain-based systems that will um, be able to hold and manage and enable the verification of uh, certificates all over the world is pretty important. The extension of this trustworthiness uh, requires a careful balance of where to um, include uh, blockchain, uh, which is necessarily inefficient because of the effort that it takes to arrive to the decentralized consensus it requires, and where to take um, important shortcuts. What do these shortcuts entail. Where does the human component enter into the picture? And is the human component an acceptable vulnerability of the entire system? Humans are often flexible and they are able to question uh, the rules and the reasons why certain things are done. So in this sense, including them in processes can be absolutely crucial. But on the other hand, humans make many, many mistakes as well. 
the million car accidents per year uh, leading to loss of human life in the vast majority are caused by human mistakes. So I believe that uh, the next challenge for blockchain systems will be the careful understanding and balancing dynamically of these boundaries. Where can automated systems extend themselves and where does the error-prone but flexible and self-reflecting human judgment enter the picture? This is the conjunction with self-driving cars because it is believed that the diffusion of self-driving cars will radically reduce uh, the rate of fatalities and the rate of accidents. But in the meantime, while we are getting there, there has to be a strong interaction between the human systems and the autonomous machine systems that self-driving cars represent. For example, uh, this interaction today is uh, in not only the ability, but the requirement that uh, a, a human driver uh, sitting in the uh, driver's seat uh, could take over, must be able to take over uh, the driving of the, of the car uh, in a situation where the car cannot uh, make the right uh, choices under the assumption that, uh, yes, uh, the human will make uh, a better choice in time. And this is extremely delicate because we tend uh, to be uh, distracted already when we concentrate on the task, let alone when we are told that we are allowed to be distracted, except that we must pay attention and be ready to take over. It is a little bit of a paradox. I am very much looking forward to self-driving cars. I fully believe that they will be able to deliver uh, the promised benefits and that the transition uh, will be delicate, but uh, fairly uh, rapid. Over the course of a few years, uh, it will be firmly established that self-driving cars are uh, trustworthy and they uh, are desirable uh, to be deployed in ever wider waves. It will take a much longer time to replace uh, the current uh, fleet, uh, the cars on the roads and trucks and all other uh, transportation uh, to be able to drive themselves. And some will keep a human component for a much longer time than others. I personally feel that it is likely this was the last time for me to renew my driver's license. Next time, uh, after the license expires and I want to drive, uh, I will do it in a closed circuit um, and uh, I will uh, maybe uh, drive a, a race car and uh, it will be risky and I will have a special insurance uh, paying a high premium just for that hour or so of entertainment. But as far as uh, moving around, uh, my uh, ability to reach my destination uh, safely and securely and on time will be delegated uh, to the machines. And of course, these machines and uh, their abilities will be also checked and verified and certified and certifiable on blockchains with oracles bringing the data from the outside world onto the blockchain in a much more reliable way with machine-to-machine -machine communication updating on a real-time basis the fact that self-driving cars 
are actually great than not any human-based oracles are doing today certifying our own ability to drive cars.